Grapey form login. You may well have seen examples on the internet. Many, many examples will be logging into books to scrape.com. Um, whilst that's okay, it's not a real world site and um, there's only username, password and one hidden field. So I wanted to actually do this on a real live site and if you want to see that then skip there. Otherwise uh, I'm just going to show you what I did and how I did it. So um, I can't show you everything partly because I don't want to reveal the identity of the site. Gather the form data. So you you go to the login page for the site you want to scrape and you sub, uh, inspect or in your developer tools inspect element and then you click on the, uh, the the submit button or whatever and go to the network tab find the uh, the post rather than the get because you're actually posting your password and your username etc so for instance this time it was login.html um, you can't quite see it there but it was a post rather than a, a get request and if you look across here I was using Chrome so under the form data um, let me just zoom in on that a little bit um, we had text email which was actually the username the username was the email address we had text password which was a, a normal password and as well as those two which were seen on the form we had one, two, three. Three hidden bits of information which weren't on the form. Um, text form type, which is uh, login and capitals, login source, which is nav. Anyway, and then we had to recapture response version three, whatever that was. So um, this is useful information. We saved all that into a text file. And then this is the new bit, which I've, um, I've done another video on recently, which was saving your password and username um, into environment uh, variables. Uh, I won't run through how to do it in uh, Windows, but on Linux you edit your um, dot bash underscore profile and using nano or any editor you do export the name of your variable equals with no space and then inside quotes that's my email address and then the same applies for the password, uh, text password, no space, then equals, and then in quotes, put your password. Um, save that, and then either reboot your machine or do source, S-O-U-R-C-E, space, uh, dot bash underscore profile, as per that. Um, good, okay. So let's get on with it. If, uh, I've shown you the theory. Um, I'm going to post all these uh, screenshots onto my website redandgreen.co.uk so um, yeah if you want to see all this it'll be on there shortly so um, let's close that and I'm on my uh, Linux Mint 20.04 distro I've, I'm using a virtual environment and if we just do clear you'll see I've got a scrapers directory inside there I've made FS and uh, yeah I'm, I've gone right down into the spiders directory and you can see <laughs> originally I started off using uh, quotes to scrape was it books to, I don't know I called it quotes it doesn't matter what it's called okay so um, micro that's just my text editor, as I say, you can use an NOV, whatever. Here we go. Uh, import Scrapey. I haven't used call to process here just because I wanted to do this very minimal. And uh, yeah, this is the bare minimum. And uh, once you can get it working with the bare minimum, then you can add to it. So from Scrapey, import Spider, 
as normal. So line four, line five, what you would normally expect to see. Uh, line six, from Scrapey HTTP, import form request. This is the new bit that you will need. And what does it do? It sends the post request with the um, the key and the value that you specify here in form data, which we will get to. So the only other thing I've included here, which is optional, um, from scrapey.utils.response, import, open in browser. Really, that's for testing. And um, if you were running your spider in anger, you wouldn't really need it, especially if it was headless. So. Um, this is more just for testing and uh, yeah, sanity check. Import OS. Uh, why did I import OS? I imported it because I've just saved those two variables, those two variables which you saw, the username and a password. I've saved those in bash underscore profile <laughs> to get them out of bash underscore profile and get them into Scrapey. I need to use os dot environ dot get. And there you see text, email, and text password. Again, in quotes. And those names match what were on the right hand side. Sorry, the left hand side of the equals. So if you remember, I did, um, I did export txt email equals export txt password. So txt email and txt password um, that's what they're saved as in the bash profile and that's where I'm actually using them within the form request um, it's just a coincidence or I've just kept the name the same so the key here so that's the key and that's the value the key name is the same so um, start URLs so the start URL is actually um, take is you need to go straight to the login page um, names quotes it doesn't matter you can call it whatever you want within reason um, pass so a standard scrapey pass function which is the first function that start requests uh, sends it the callback to um, if you don't use start requests it's implicit so the first real function that you write pass yield form request as we've already imported URL so the URL is self dot start URLs which is what we've already put here on line 12 um, you put the the zero uh, the index in square brackets there but if you had several start URLs and you wanted to use the first one then that's why you would need the square brackets with the naught. so I've kind of future proofed that in case I had some more start URLs um, okay F comma then form data so form data is the email and the password so that's what you see on the screen and then we've got text form type, which is a login, text login source, which is nav, and G recapture response v3. So these three were what I extracted from here, which was what I found using inspect in Chrome. You could do it in Firefox, makes no odds, or Safari or whatever the Microsoft browser is called nowadays. Um, and then we have a callback. So that just returns to the next function, which I've written, and it just prints logged in. Um, <laughs> what you could do is you could do um, a response.xpath, and then you could actually find the href, and then you could print that. Um, I've only done that because I know it works. I wouldn't do that otherwise. You can't really hard code logged in because it, if it didn't work, then you've just told a lie. URL equals. So once I'm logged in, this is a finance site, um, share prices and so on. So 
Uh, next thing I want to do is navigate to the FTSE 100, which is the UK Stock Exchange page, and then go to that page. And what I will do then is I will just yield the request with a callback, which will send it to the next function, which will do some parsing or something, extract some useful information. Um, but for the time being, just to keep this very minimalist so that you can pretty much copy this to and apply this methodology to whatever site you're scraping, um, open in browser. So open in browser is there. You don't have to do that. You could just um, extract information with XPath or CSS. Um, open in browser is just a quick and dirty way to do it if you are using a uh, an operating system uh, with a GUI. If you're doing it headless, then that's completely pointless. So, um, line uh, line 15 down to line 23. These are the important bits. And if you want to really focus on anything, you need to learn form request. What URL are you going to? So form request URL and then form data form data and then the key and the value. The, the name of the key is what they've called it in their web page. So that's the ID tag, uh, text password. These And then these three are hidden. So um, as per the books to scrape examples, you'll see, um, I think there they called it um, CSRF token, something like that. Let me just see if I can find it. Um, I think it was books to scrape rather than quotes to scrape. Books to scrape.com. Um, just bear with me. Site can't be reached. Oh, I don't know what that is. Anyway, it uh, helps if you spell it correctly. Yeah, so on books to scrape, I think they was C CSRF token. And that was hidden and you needed to submit that. So if you were doing the books to scrape example, it'd be email, password and CSRF token equals. And that's generated dynamically. So that's where they would tell you to use response.xpath with the, um, the ID, the class, attributes whatever for the CSRF token um, and on that books to scrape they didn't have any of these three so email and password you'll always have and then anything in additional will be specific to the site that you are scraping so uh, yeah enough of me talking you want me to see it run don't you so let's just um, I've not even done crawler process here I've tried to keep this really kind of as out of the box as possible because, yeah, I, I know I've included os.environ.get, but I think that's really important for hiding passwords, especially if you're doing a tutorial and you're publishing it on YouTube. Uh, right, scrapey, crawl, I'll just call quotes. Okay, ready, let's go. And Uh, 200 response which is then redirecting 302 redirect uh, you can see post uh, it said logged in and here we can see uh, we are logged in and there what we could do is we could we could much like a books to scrape you could look for the um, you could check for a log out button obviously if you're logged in then successfully then you would hope to see a log out so you would want to find logout somewhere on your page um, yeah so we've got share prices this is a Sunday so there's no live share price information but if you wanted to find live share price information Monday to Friday then this would be a good place to find it although I think there may be a 15 minute delay but obviously that's a whole nother subject so yeah there we go that was a success and that is how to use Scrapey with form requests to log in to a real website, not just a trial books to scrape type one. So um, 
I hope that's been useful. If it is, um, comment. If you've got any questions, add a comment. And I'll put the link to GitHub and you can copy it and try it for yourself. You'll need to set up your own username and password. And yeah, just be sensible and don't abuse it. And just scrape responsibly because if you don't, then we probably will fall out. So uh, in the meantime, thank you for watching. And um, yeah, it's been a pleasure. Until next time, thank you.